Today we will compare two of the most popular smartphone gimbals that you can buy at the moment. The Cyan Smooth 5 versus the DJI OM5. And in case you want to find out which is the better fit for you, well, just keep watching this video. Hey, what's up guys? Julian from SmartphoneFilmmakingPro.com here, the ultimate online course about smartphone filmmaking. So today's video is very exciting. We will compare the Cyan Smooth 5 versus the DJI OM5. And these are pretty much the two most popular smartphone gimbals that you can buy at the moment. I have divided this comparison into seven different categories and the winner of each category will get a point. And at the end, you can decide for yourself which one is the better fit for yourself. And in case you have not subscribed yet, well then make sure to hit that subscribe button to not miss any of the future videos because more coverage on both gimbals is coming very soon. But now let's start with the first category and that is the price and the packaging content. The DJI OM5 is a pretty expensive smartphone gimbal. It currently retails for about $160 depending on where you live. And for that you get a little carrying pouch, a USB to USB type C cable, a magnetic clamp, a little table tripod and of course the gimbal itself. On the other hand, the Cyan Smooth 5 retails for around about $140 and for that you get a much more sturdy carrying case, also a little table tripod, the same USB to USB Type-C cable and also of course the gimbal itself. For me personally, I feel the protection pouch of the IOM5 does not really add any protection to it. On the other hand, the protection case of the Smooth 5 is very huge, so it always depends on what fits your needs better. Even though the case of the Smooth 5 is pretty huge, I still prefer this one over the pouch of the Smooth 5, because instead of using this pouch, like 99% of all times, I'm not using any protection at all, which probably is also not the best solution. And even though the case of the Smooth 5 is pretty huge, especially compared to the pouch, I still prefer this one over the pouch because like I said, it just adds more protection and you can also put in other stuff that you might need on your shoot, for example, like filters or add-on lenses. So depending on what's more important for yourself, you can give the point however you like, but for me personally, I will give the first point to the Cyan Smooth 5. The second category that I have for you is the overall balancing process. When you are shooting with smartphone gimbals, it is important that you balance the gimbal before you start shooting because then the motors will have to do less work and the battery will last longer and overall you will just get smoother shots. On the Smooth 5 you have basically just one little screw, one little clamp that you can open, then you can change the position from left to right depending on which phone you have and you do this until the phone stays in its position without falling over and that's basically it. So I feel like this is pretty easy and very user friendly. On the OM5 on the other hand you have this little magnetic clamp that you just put onto your phone and then you just attach it to the gimbal, turn it on and that's basically it. This works as long as you are using pretty light phones. When you start using super heavy phones like the iPhone 13 Pro Max or the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra or something like this, you will have to balance your gimbal and then it will be more difficult compared to the Smooth 5. So I think it depends on what phone you have and in case you're using add-ons and so on. But overall, I will give this point to the OM5 because with light phones that most of you have anyway, you just have no balancing process at all and that is just super handy and super user friendly. The third category that I have for you is the stability when shooting with either of the gimbals. When you are holding both gimbals in your hand, you can feel that the Smooth 5 is just feeling way more sturdy and stable and just more solid overall. The OM5, especially if you have extended the pole, well this is just not feeling solid at all. This is just very flimsy and lightweight so you know this does not feel that premium and that high quality at all. Sometimes lately when I was using the OM5 in colder weather conditions I also felt like the motors are jittering sometimes and I even feel like the motors got worse compared to its predecessor the OM4. So the Smooth 5 on the other hand is feeling really solid and secure and just stable and you know like I said just higher quality in general. To be honest I have gotten perfect results with both of the gimbals but I much prefer 
prefer to use the Smooth 5 over the Smooth 4 because of the reasons that I mentioned before. So this point goes to the Smooth 5. And before we come to the last three categories, I would like to talk very briefly about Smartphone Filmmaking Pro. In case you want to upgrade your smartphone videos, in case you want to learn how to professionally film with your smartphone, you can just click the very first link below that like button to watch our totally free webinar. It's 30 minutes long and in there I share with you the five secrets that you need to know to film professional looking videos with your smartphone. But now let's talk about all the different modes that these gimbals have to offer. The Smooth 5 has a huge, huge advantage over the OM5 and that is that you can change between all the different modes directly on the gimbal without having to switch into the ZY Cami or in this case the DJI Mimo app. With the Smooth 5 you can change on the gimbal itself between the pan and follow, the follow mode, the locked mode, the POV mode and also the vertex mode and that is just really really cool and this is way better on the Smooth 5 compared to what you have on the OM5. On the OM5 on the other hand on the gimbal itself you can only change between two different modes and that is the standard follow mode that is by default always activated and by pressing this button at the back here you can access the locked mode and that is it. That's everything that you can access without using the DJI Mimo app. When you are in the DJI Mimo app that by the way I do not like at all, you can change between several more modes. You can access basically the same modes that you also have on the Smooth 5 but you have to go into this camera app to access this and there is no workaround at all. So this category is an easy one. This clearly goes to the Smooth 5. Next category is the payload. The OM5 has a theoretical payload of up to 290 grams and the Smooth 5 has a theoretical payload of up to 280 grams. So on paper DJI OM5 has 10 grams more to load so it has to be better, right? Well I have tested both gimbals with my iPhone 13 Pro and an add-on lens and also with some different filters like ND filters and also some you know diffusion filters and you know with the OM5 sometimes I had the issue that it just turned off after a few minutes but that just happened occasionally that was not like the go-to so my personal feeling is you know I feel that the Smooth 5 has stronger motors and that it can handle more compared to the Smooth 5 but on paper the DJI OM5 can handle more so you know depending on what you prefer but I personally I will call this category a draw. All right so the next and the last category is about all the different cool party tricks that these gimbals have to offer. The party tricks of the OM5 are on the one side the lack of the balancing part with lighter phones with the magnetic clamp and of course also the extension pole. To be honest I really like the magnetic clamp with the lack of the balancing process. I just feel like you know this is a very user-friendly approach and you can you know you can get it working also if you do not have anything to do with you know smartphone gimbals in general but on the other hand I have absolutely no idea why they have included the extension pole. The battery got smaller and overall the entire gimbal well it just feels less high quality compared to its predecessor so I'm not a huge fan of this at all. You know yes it's nice in case you're shooting low mode you do not have to bend down that much. This can be an advantage for some of you but I feel like you know the compromise that they had to take to get this extension pole is not worth it at all because you know at the bottom here you have a little quarter 20 screw and there you could just attach you know something like a monopod or something that is like $15 on Amazon and then you will have a proper extension pole and this will feel way secure compared to this extension pole right here. The first party trick of the Smooth 5 on the other hand is I would say the full 360 degree vertex mode that basically no other smartphone gimbal has to offer. So this is really cool and this alone is a huge benefit of this for me personally. And just as a comparison on the OM5 you can only do this up to 270 degrees and then at some point you always run into the you know into the physical edges and then you have a hard stop and so on so I'm not a huge fan of this but this one is really cool. And the second party trick that the Smooth 5 has to offer is the little light that attaches magnetically and they also include different color gels so that you can make it any color that you like. 
To be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of this little light because it's just super tiny and it just won't add much to your image. But of course, it's better than nothing and I do like it. So I think everyone has to decide for himself or for herself which of these features are more important to themselves. For me personally, it always depends on what exactly I'm gonna be shooting. If I'm just, you know, quickly out there and shooting some things, you know, my family, friends, whatever, and I'm just using my phone, well, then I love the flexibility and the easiness, you know, of just taking the clamp, putting it on my phone to turning it on and being ready to go. On the other hand, if I want to get more into it, if I want to get some cool shots, if I want to get, you know, the 360 degree into my shots, well, then the Smooth 5 is just better. So I will call this category a draw because it just depends on what I'm going for. But again, you have to decide for yourself which of those cool features are more important for you personally. All right, so what is the conclusion? Which gimbal should you be getting? I think that both gimbals are great options and that you won't go with any of them. But like I said before, I feel that the Smooth 5 just feels a little more steady, a little more sturdy, and also is just a little higher quality compared to the OM5. At the moment, as of recording of this video, like eight out of 10 times I'm picking the Smooth 5 over any other gimbal. But that might also be because this is the newest one and it's just the most exciting one at the moment. But generally speaking, in case you love the 360 degree barrel roll and you have a heavier phone, I would go with the Smooth 5. And in case you have a lighter phone and you do not care about the 360 degree barrel roll, well then the Smooth 5 or maybe even the Smooth 4 will be also a great option for you. But that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, if you guys have any further questions, make sure to let me know and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.